Hey yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy B Dog here and today I am back on you guys and today we are at the farm. Uh we got the what is it? 7530 right here. We got that uh from the manure from the manure spreader to the 4440 in the garage over there. And we got the Yeah, but we also got the 6920 right here plowing the manure because this ramp hooks up to the manure spreader, which is hooked up to the 4440. This ramp goes up, and the manure spreader goes right here, and then we took up the JCB, and we just load it up. It takes forever, but you know, it's so worth it, because it's like real life. But yeah, guys, so we're selling this tractor, because it's worth, I don't know, how much is it worth? Is, how much was it, is it worth now? All right, so here is the tractor. This is worth. What? Yeah, this is worth five hundred and this is worth five, just five hundred thousand. Because I mean, like eleven thousand dollars will be taken off. Cause it's got it's pretty dirty. It uh, needs a little bit of repairing. And some of the gas is used up, but I mean, I can give you some gas for free. But yeah, so we got the manure spreader to the 4440. Probably gonna take that out a little bit later and do some manure spreading. But we need to get the grain cart going and get the 4840 fired up. Let's see if she can cold start. Oh, come on, 4840. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. One more close. Hey, there we go. She fired. Oh, dang it. Come on. There we go. Alrighty then. Alright, let's hook her up. See what she's hooked up. Beat the O shaft. Uh, all tight. See if the brake lights are working. Yep. Blinkers, lights, alrighty then, we're good to go, guys. Wait, what about the pipe? And she's deployed. Alrighty then. No, would you look at that little pipe? Alright. Alright, so we got the hoster. Okay. Alright, now we gotta start up this harvester. Alright, so we got the harvester going guys, and we got a huge header on her. So this was actually given to me by my uncle, who farms close to us actually. But he recently, he recently closed his farm, and he's like, I'm going to waste all my stuff, because he was pretty wealthy. His dad worked as a judge, his mom worked as a doctor, so they had lots of money, and his parents died, and he inherited all their money. And he bought this harvester first, and then recently he bought, uh, he had to close down his farm, so he gave me his harvester. But he, he bought this only like a month ago before his farm closed. So, so that's why he, that's why I have this. Because I'm not a very rich farmer. Alright, so we got a pipe out. 
Harvester still running. Let's start at the 4840. There we go. All right. We got fish and loading, 4840, but, uh, yeah, so this sucker can hold a lot, it can hold, like, 38,000 pounds, if that, maybe more. So we're not gonna harvest, and we gotta harvest the rest of this, uh, we did a little bit overgrow before this, uh, we planted, and then we didn't, we forgot to do a row, so as soon as the stuff was done, that just... Okay, guys. Sorry, this dude is just blurring me out right now. All right, we're gonna start the 4440, and we gotta get manure spreading. Oh wow! So the 4440 starts up immediately, but the 4840 can't even start. Well, that's bullcrap. But I was also using this sucker yesterday, so makes sense. Oh wow, there's a lot of gas. You know, I had this 4440 for two days, and guess what? It's already got some gas used up. Like, you'd think a tractor would spare some gas, but it's also been working in the fields all day, so. I'm actually not surprised. And we just got back from camping, too, so. Oh, there it is. That's where I left off yesterday. Alright. And let's see here. Alright, perfect. Alright, Jimmy, you go ahead. I'm gonna go oh, I just ran to it all. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm gonna move to forty eight forty. Oh I can smell it. That's disgusting, you guys. I think I'm just gonna speed up time a little bit so we can get harvesting this stuff. Alright, so now we're gonna start the case here. And we're gonna plant field 19 and then. We're gonna cultivate field, I don't know, what is it, 17? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we got the case with wheels. Usually you could only buy, like, the case with tracks, but I found one with wheels, so I decided to download that. But yeah, guys, so we are so currently uh, unfolding our planner. This is the small one, in the 90 series, I only have a medium tractor pulling it, and I have to use a large tractor to make this thing go at, like, I don't know, what is it, 10? Yeah, to go 9. I can only go 5 in the 2500, back in the 90 series. But yeah, we only use this one, we have to transport to, like, a bigger silo. But we don't even use it for that. So I think about selling it because we have so much money in debt right now, it's not even funny. Alright. 
I gotta let warm up a little bit. Cause I'm pretty sure my oldest, this is my oldest tractor. Cause that was the very first tractor I bought and that was a ridiculous purchase. So I had to stop doing that and buy older tractors that weren't as expensive and then that's what led me to the 4840 and then I started buying and then that turned into a big success so I bought a, a, a 8R and then I bought that big old case and then I'm like I need more tractors and then I bought the 4440 and then a month later my farm is where it is Disc, the disc, okay. And we're through. Now, the best part about this sucker is it's also an international, so we got an international hooked up to an international. So, we're gonna let the case do its thing. We're probably gonna move the harvester to the 4840 because it's probably in the way. So, we're gonna go cultivate uh, field 817. I mean, I'll, I'm gonna cultivate this one too, but I'm not sure I wanna do it now. Like, that corn is still growing, so. Oh, wow. The 4840 missed a lot. But yeah, guys. Uh, leave your favorite truck brand down below in the comments section. Because then we might be related somehow. Not related, but like. We have something in common. Like, we already have something in common. We both like Farm Sim, if you watch these kind of videos. But, you know. So, yeah, we're selling this sucker because we're gonna miss it, but we don't even like use it. So, I don't know how we'll miss it. But, I'm pretty sure this was built in 1978, and I don't know how it's still standing. Because it's 2020, so I don't even know how the sucker's still standing. 1928. Yeah, I don't know how she's still standing, though. She's really old. But yeah, so I'm going to go get a bulldozer to knock this sucker down. I'm kidding, I'm not going to knock it down. That's what make this farm what it is, because, like, most farms don't have that kind of old stuff. Oh, dang. He's like halfway done. Oh, come on. I have to go do the actual side. All right. This thing's made for a field, so you can go fast in this. park it right here because there's no other place to put it because it's so freaking huge and then I gotta fold up the header alright I moved the 4840 I should probably go and load this because the only leftover stuff is that little row. Pretty sure that's not going to be a lot to empty out, so. I feel like I better hurry up. I'm going to flip the tractor if I go on that. So let's put the pipe out here now. And. Everything's working. Let's see if we can empty it out.
perfect. All right. So everything's hooked up. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so... Sorry, I'm not talking that much. I'm kind of focused right now. But yeah, guys, so... We have the 7R hooked up to that, and that cannot be removed. So the 7R is, like, like not here. <laughs> wow, well, what should I do? Um... The 9RX. I'm pretty sure I have to go deliver this to someone because I'm pretty sure they bought it, but I don't know how to. I don't know where to bring it to. I think it's an address. I'm going back to my house because my laptop's in there. Alright. Big, beautiful piece of machinery. I'm pretty sure I have to leave it in this field. Oh, where's my computer? Where's my computer? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna do something real quick. Yep. Alright. Goodbye. Sorry, guys, I was on the phone real quick. He said he needs us to drop it off in a field. It's actually pretty close to the farm. And he's paying us about 5000 dollars $500,502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502, $502
don't even know how to afford the gas. It's crazy expensive. I'm gonna run all the way back over to the farm. Oh, it's gonna be so long before we get there. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, all right. Yeah. All right. Put this right here. I'm gonna go run back and check on the 4440, or should I just check on it now? I should. Okay. See, very first tractor. Well, the train isn't even mine. It's it's mine by choice of the government. But yeah. So this is the very first tractor I ever bought. Can't explain that one. Here's the ADAR. See? I gotta switch to the 4440. Hurry up. Oh, the gas gauge actually works on these suckers. Okay, good. Now guys, we have to go bring this sucker back. Alright. So I think I'm going to go park the 4440 over by the ramp and I'm going to start loading it up because it's at 63%. And I don't want it to be like at 63 when I have to do another field. Fool me twice, gonna put the blame on you. Fool me three times. So. Sorry guys, singing a song. Uh, like I heard it for, for the very first time and I kind of like it actually. Fool me once, but can't put the blame on you. Fool me three times for peace sign. Alright. Alright, perfect. Okay. Now let's hop in the JCB. By the way, I didn't actually say the F word. It may sound like it, but I'm just like whispering under my voice. Oh, me twice can put the blame on you. So yeah, so right now, guys, it's at 63. We're gonna load it back up to 100. I don't even know when it's 100. All I know is when it does the thing. Usually in real life, they fill it up to where they feel comfortable, and then they let it just do whatever they do. Real life is not like this, because I used to live on a farm, so I know what it's like. <laughs> Alright. Perfect.
All right, perfect. I'm gonna go check the 4440, see if it's filled up close. Yeah, 87%. Guys, some people on the channel might be like, oh, pop-ups suck, they really do. But I own a pop-up. Yep, you heard me. I own a pop-up. Do I suck? Maybe in your eyes. But actually, guys, pop-ups aren't that bad. Mine has heat, air conditioning, and it's from 1993. So... Well, it's actually just got heat, but if you don't have the propane on, it's just like an air conditioner. So. And we're about to get another pop-up. Well, we could probably get a camper. Well, a used one. We're always going to get used pop-ups. We're going to make sure it's clean, though. Because, like, why would you get a pop-up? Why would you get a brand new camper when you could get one that's like new? And I'm pretty sure it's full. Yeah. Oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang. Alright, this is probably going to be so much easier when we have a dozer, so then we don't have to use the 6220. I think that's what the tractor is. I'm not sure. I really don't care. Because, like, I barely use it. Put the ramp down. I mean, or can just, like, stay there. Like, who cares? Now, harvester's probably full. No, dang. Wow. Oh my god. You th you'd think that this thing would be full by now? Oh. Well, if it's gonna leave it like that, then yeah, it's not gonna be full. It's finished. We're not going far. We're just going to go over to that field there. And we're just going to... Plant. This is like the worst way to travel. Especially with a planter. Yeah, guys, I also watch YouTube videos while I make videos. And like like the dude saying in the YouTube video, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Guys, hashtag, put down in the comments, hashtag squad, if you want to do enter, be entered in my free giveaway on some merch. But, you know, you don't have to put that. If you don't want any free merch, you know, whatever. Because my merch is pretty expensive. I don't mean to be rude, but it kind of is. Ooh, can put the blame on you. Alrighty then. Okay. Oh, it's getting full. What is it? Yeah, there he is. Now he's not getting full. He is full. I should probably get the 4440 out here. Doing some manure. The 4440 and the 4840 both have the same interiors, but they're also the same tractor, just this one's bigger, way bigger. Okay guys, so that thing's all the way at the front, oh, 
It's still in the front. See? It's probably in the middle now. Oh no, it's as far away as it looks. Alright, never mind. So, a full grain, a full tank of grain in that tractor almost filled up this whole grain cart. So, yeah. Don't tip on me now, Bessie. Alright. Give me one second, guys. Listen to the soothing music. guys so like I said since I just got back from camping a lot of stuff's been going on so actually I have to end the video and I have to take a shower I just realized I had to take a shower so hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you guys do want me to make more of this kind of series uh, and if you guys do like the 4440 or the 4840 and you want me to make more videos with the 4440 or 4840, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The next series on this, the next part on this comes out tomorrow. Peace, guys.